Hello, 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 guys. Welcome to this live broadcast. Welcome to Workouts for Older Men Live. I am Skip LaCour. I am so glad you are here today. When you come on to this live broadcast, make sure that you say hello. Tell me where you're watching me from. Tell me what you're loving about Workouts for Older Men Live, our continual connection. If you're watching this on a replay version, that is great, too. Make sure you say hello. Ask your questions. Comment down below. I'll always take the time to acknowledge you, whether you're watching it live or in a replay version. I'm so glad you are here today. In this video, I want to talk to you if uh, you're working hard, uh, you're consistent in the gym, you're watching what you eat, you're a little bit older, you've got a busy life, but you just can't lose that last stubborn 10 or 15 pounds of body fat. If that's you, this message is for you, and I want to extend an offer uh, because I want to talk to you. I want to help you crack the code, figure out the pattern. If you're a little bit old, you have a busy life, you're con consistent with your training and your eating, you're watching all the videos on the internet, and it doesn't matter what you do. It just seems impossible for you to lose that last 10 or 15 pounds of body fat, right? Your arms look good. Your legs look good. It's just around this midsection. The love handles squares you off. Maybe a little bit of that extra fat in the chest area, right? I want to talk to you. I want to talk about how to crack that code. I talk to so many of you on the internet. All right, I see Clive. I see Pete. Right? So many of you I've talked to, uh, so many men looking for the distinctions. I'll tell you, there's a lot of great information on the internet. There is a lot of great fitness information. There's a lot of it. And sometimes, uh, even with the passionate fitness experts, uh, the gurus, the coaches uh, who are giving the information, a lot of times it's tough for you to uh, just uh, comprehend everything that they're saying because. A lot of times, the fitness experts, uh, they've done it for years. They've made it to the other side. They look great the way you want to look great. Uh, and again, you're willing to do the work, just can't figure out those last pieces. A lot of times, it's how you're interpreting the information that the fitness experts, the coaches, are saying. It's not that it's so conflicting a lot of times. It's just that you don't know what it's like to get to the other side. Right? And I know that from experience because I'll tell you, I talk to so many men, uh, not just uh, through the comments, uh, through these videos, but actually talk to them and what they're perceiving that I'm saying right, to help them get to the next level and what they're comprehending. Hmm, there's just 
a slight gap that if they don't get it right, they're never going to make it to the other side, right? That's why I love my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I talk to men because it's not just one-sided. You hear a video and then it's left up to your interpretation. Maybe you'll get it, maybe you won't, right? Especially losing this last 10 or 15 pounds of body fat. Let me give you a clue right now, right? Because, again, I, I talk to so many guys. They say, I can't lose this last 10 or 15 pounds of body fat. I'm doing everything. I've, I've done all the training routines. And I stop them, I listen, and I stop them, and I say, I tell them, it's not going uh, to happen. You're not going to lose that stubborn body fat through your training routine. I don't care if it's uh, more reps, it's fewer reps, it's lightweight, heavyweight. Uh, you increase uh, the frequency of your training of the body parts. You spread it over six days. I don't care if you're in there for two hours. It's not going to happen from your training routine, all right? They go, oh, yeah, 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 skip. I, yeah, I know, it's my diet. All right, uh, yeah, I, I need to start figuring that stuff out. But, yeah, but, I, you know, I, I have this training routine, and I just stop them again, all right? I use the analogy many times. Uh, a lot of guys, uh, they read books, all right? And then they watch the, the movie. They see it come up, and they say, the movie, it's just not as... It wasn't as good as the book. I read the book. The book was awesome. Uh, that movie, it was terrible. <laughs> and uh, I always find that interesting because many times I didn't read the book or I didn't watch the movie. Uh, but the movie was uh, produced. <laughs> it was the brainchild. It was a baby. It was the project of the author who wrote the book. All right? Don't you think they want to ensure that their vision, uh, when they spent months or years writing that book, that uh, this multi-million dollar project, the movie, don't you think that they would do everything with the screenwriter, the director, that their baby, their piece of work, their art, their life work, that it would be presented on the movie? You're right. So how is your interpretation better than theirs? All right. It, it's, and many times it's when you're reading the book, you get to use your imagination, your perspective. Uh, when they say it's a uh, cold, winter night. Well, you get to visualize what that would mean to you, a beautiful scene in your mind. They say a beautiful girl walked by, right? You get to interpret your, your perception of beauty. Maybe it's a blonde and, and they had a brunette in the movie, all right? Maybe they said it was a crowded room and to you, three people makes it crowded. So you visualize three people in the room where in the movie it had, it had 100 people in this room, right? You get my point. You're reading the words, and it's left to, up to your interpretation. And you see it the way you want to see it, and it makes sense to you. I'm telling you guys, you're looking at all these videos from the, the fitness experts, and you're getting more and more confused, watching more and more. All right? Directionally, I'm telling you, they're 95% in the, in the right direction. Now, it doesn't help when they're telling you that all the other fitness experts uh, are getting it all wrong, and you need to listen to them. But their point of view, what they're telling you, seems so different than the others. Right? It's just more and more confusing. I get it. I understand. I'll tell you what, talking to so many of you one-on-one, -on -one, and I'm trying to help you break through, all right? A lot of times it's your interpretation. You don't want what it's like to get to that other side that you want to get to so badly. So I love going back and forth in the conversation. If you want to lose that last 10 or 15 pounds of body fat. You're a little bit older. You got a busy, productive life. I want to talk to you. But let me tell you, it's not going to be in your training routine. It's going to be in your diet. And it's not just going to be the strategies that, you know, the really fat, sedentary people who don't even belong to a gym, right? Uh, those type of uh, move more, eat less, just eat 2,000 calories or whatever. Don't really track it. Don't weigh yourself. All those very simple things that very fat, overweight, sedentary people don't even belong to the gym. Those strategies aren't going to work for you, all right, if you're taking that approach or pieces of it, all right? When it comes to nutrition, the extreme, the extreme that a fitness expert, what's their whole lifestyle, right? They're eating six, eight meals a day. They're carrying around a water jug. They're stopping and eating. Their whole life is revolving on the eating and their training, whether they think so or not, right? It's their passions, their identities, their living sometime. You can't do that. Guess what? You don't have to do that either. All right, so you can't, uh, you can't adhere to that uh, strict 
way of eating and going about it. You don't want to, and then you pick and choose from there of what makes sense to you. You're in this in-between world when you're a little bit older with uh, our stage of life, our priorities, when it comes to this nutrition. It's the fine points. All right, so I'm giving you some clues there. I want you to reach out to me. If this sounds like you, now I know I, I, there are some younger guys that say, hey, I'm not older, All right? But I love Skip's uh, videos. I love his passion. I love his energy. All right, this isn't for you. All right, if you're a younger guy and you know, you're uh, just training and eating and you love this information, I'm glad you're here. Uh, but this offer this week, I'll get to you, all right? This offer this week is for the older guys, all right? They're doing everything. They're dedicated. They're consistent in the gym, all right? They've lost a lot of weight, all right? Uh, they know what they're doing. They're watching the videos, all right? You're attracted to this message. You love and support what I do. You know that, uh, that uh, the key to losing that fat is going to be in your diet, but you think you're doing everything? Well, let me see. Reach out to me. All right, with this special offer, it's absolutely free. I want to help you break through. All I do is talk to men just like <laughs> you and me, right? And so I'm getting pretty good at the stories and metaphors and analogies and step into your role. You probably noticed that. All right, so this is what you do, getting the help from me. If you're a little bit older, got a busy life, and you have that big challenge, losing that last 10 or 15 pounds of body fat, this is for you this week, all right? Only for you this week. Right? It's as simple as one, two, three, and again, it's absolutely free. First, text your picture to me at 925-352-4366. 925-352-4366. I have it posted down below. That's step one. All right? You text me, you introduce yourself, I say hello. Right? I'm going to send you this questionnaire. You're going to tell me what your goals are, what your challenges are, right? what you've done in the past. Right? You're going to submit that form. It's on the skiplacore.com website. Right? You're going to submit that form to me. You're going to take the time to go through it. Just take you about five or so minutes. Tell me all about your story. And now I'm communicating with you. I've got you on my personal phone. All right? uh, you've texted me your picture. You told me your story by filling out the form. And then I'm going to reach out and talk to you. Now. Uh, I've just gone through where I've been talking all day and all night uh, to men. I've been offering this, uh, this free expert analysis of your physique, uh, those small distinction strategies. Sometimes that's all it takes. And so uh, my voice is a little harsh, a horse, uh, because I've been talking to so many of you. So I finally have it cleared off. So thank you for your patience, uh, all of you men who have reached out to me. All right, I've either called you or texted you back, or we've already communicated. It's been great talking to you. All right, so this, is for you if you have that last 10 or 15 pounds of body fat. I want to help you break through. All right, guys. All right, so that's going to do it uh, for workouts for older men live today. Hey, remember, it's a struggle that makes you strong. You cannot figure out the pattern. You can crack the code. Right? Keep on keeping on. You can do it. All right? Take on today with a sense of urgency. Train hard, eat right, work hard, produce, love, connect with that sense of urgency. When we're a little bit older, we got more time behind us than we do in front of us. Expect the best from yourself. Expect the best from your efforts. Expect the best from other people who you deal with every single day. They'll get you. How can they not get you? It's just a matter of time you are forced to be reckoned with. You remember that. Keep on keeping on. Have a great day. Have an outstanding day. Have an awesome day. Think big. And think bigger than getting bigger. <laughs>